Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, 2016 question on um, functions. Kieran has 21 meters of fencing. He wants to enclose a vegetable garden in a rectangular shape as shown. By writing an expression for the perimeter of the vegetable garden in terms of x, which is the length in meters, and y, which is the width in meters, show that y equals 10.5 minus x. Okay, when you see something like this, this can really throw you. But but try not, I suppose, let it dominate the question. In other words, it says by writing an expression for the perimeter. And you probably do know that perimeter is just means walk the walk. So start in one corner, walk around your garden and add up the length of all the sides because that's what perimeter is. So when I do that, when I start here and go down here, I get y plus x plus y plus x. And they've told us how much fencing he has. OK, so I have y plus x plus y plus x being equal to 21. Or I have 2x plus 2y being equal to 21, just to tidy it up a little bit. OK, so that's my perimeter. Um, so regardless of the question that they've asked, that is your perimeter. OK, now I need to make it look like the answer that they give me. So what they're saying is show that y equals 10.5 minus x. So you're looking at your equation, you're looking at the way they want it, and you're trying to make your one look like their one. So I see y's on the left on their, on their own. So how about we'll just leave our y's on the left on their own. So we have 2y being equal to 21 minus 2x. And then I'm looking up here again, and I see that they've got a single y, not the 2y that I have. So let's divide across by two. Uh, cancel, cancel, and I get some decimal for that. So I get y being equal to 21 over 2 is 10.5 minus x. OK, so sometimes you don't see where this is go coming out of. You have to do what they tell you and hope that the answer jumps out at you at some stage on the way down. OK, part B, complete the table below to show the values of Y and A area of the garden for each um, value. So A is always length by width. So for this garden, it's X times Y. OK, so my X values, they've given me my X values. OK, and my Y values are up here. OK, so I'm grabbing my calculator there. And so for this this first one, when X is zero, my Y is going to be 10.5 minus zero. So it's going to be, let me just zoom in a little bit, 10.5. OK, when, um, when X is one up here, my y is going to be 10.5 minus 1, so it's going to be 9.5, and then it's going to be 10.5 minus 2, so 8.5, 7.5, 6.5, 5.5, 4.5, 3.5, 2.5, 1.5, and then 10.5 minus 10 is 0.5. OK, and my area, just like we said up here, is X by Y. So X by Y will give me my area. 10.5 by 0 will give me 0. 9.5 by 1 is 9.5. 8.5 by 2, with 2s are 16, 17. 7.5 by 3 is 22.5. 6.5 by 4, even though it gives me the answer, I always work it out to make sure that I'm on the right track and haven't made a mistake. And I did get the 26 that's there. So 5.5 5 by 5 is 27.5. 6 by 4.5 is 27. 7 by 3.5 is 24.5, 8 by 2.5 is 
is 29 by 1.5 is 13.5 and 10 by 0 0.5 is 5. Okay, um, right, so that's that table done. And then it says use the values of X and A from the table um, to plot the area, the graph, sorry, use the values of X and A from the table to plot the graph of A on the grid below. Okay, so here are my X values across here and on the Y axis is area. So I'm plotting the first line, which is X, and the bottom line, which is area. So nowhere on the graph is it looking for Y. So I'm not doing anything by that. I used that obviously to find the area. Okay, so let's plot. So I have zero and I go up to 10.5. So nine, 10, ugh, okay. So that's 10.5 halfway up. So there. Okay, one. Oh no, sorry, I read, look, I just read the Y column instead of area, okay? So zero and zero is my area. So one and 9.5 is my next one. Two and 17 is my next one. And it's hard to be accurate because they're going up in threes. So you just have to do the best you can. Um, three and 22.5. Okay, four and 6.5, no, four and 26. Five and 27.5. Six, and I'm back down to 27 again. Seven and 24.5. Eight and 20. nine and 13.5 and 10 and five. Okay, and then as best you can draw these. Together. As such. Okay, so that's area in meters squared. Okay, um, not part of this question, but um, in general, when you're looking for area of a box or area of a garden, there's always an optimum length by width that gives you the maximum area. Okay, where this is actually really important is in working out packaging. So if it's an industry and they have to ship something, which everybody is doing now because of COVID, um, they, they do something like this to figure out what is the best size box to use, the length and the width, and they'll do the height as well and they'll do it for volume, okay? Because you can see there's a sweet spot here in the middle where for a certain length and width, you get the maximum area. Um, so what that means for a packaging company is if they get the length and the, the width right, they will fit the most product into that box, which is exactly what you want to do. Um, okay, so that's length by width. Okay, so the question continues then. Use your graph to estimate the maximum value of A, okay? Um, and write the corresponding length and width, okay? So the maximum area, okay? And remember, I always said on this one, you have to show your construction marks, okay? So I am, as best I can on a digital screen, tabbing over to my y-axis, and I see that my maximum area is 27.5 and I'm using a little bit of the, the table to do that or even 28 if you think it's going to go up. Okay, so something like 27. Point, 27.5 meters squared. Okay, so what length and width is that? Well, down I come for my length. 
okay, because that's my x. And let me see, yeah, I'm just checking that x was the length there at the start of the question. So that's giving me um, a length of five. Okay, what width is that? Well, I have two choices. Um, I can go 27.5 divided by five if I wanted. And, and you would do this if you took an answer of, we'd say 28. Um, and I'm getting 5.5, .5, okay? Or, of course, because I took one straight from the question, I can read my Y off, off the table. So five meters and 5.5 .5 meters. Okay, show that the area of the rectangle can be written as area equals to 10.5x minus x squared. Okay, so I remember students struggled in 2016 a little bit with this in, in trying to see where this comes from. Um, the hope was that you would, it would ring a bell with y being 10.5. So the 10.5 appears here, okay? So remember that y was 10.5 minus x, okay? Um, so area, if you remember from our formula, was length by width or x by y. So I'll just write that down again, length, length by width. So for this one, it's x by y, okay? If I replace my y with this, so x stays x, but my y is 10.5 minus x, okay? And that was the whole here was that you'd recognize the 10.5 and that it would ring a bell that, that y can also be written as 10.5 minus x. And if I multiply those in, x by 10.5 is 10.5x, and then x by minus x here is minus x squared. So therefore, A, my area, can be written as 10.5x minus x squared. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.